What is up, YouTube? This is Red Leprechaun Gaming. This is going to be a rather short episode. At least I believe it will be. I just wanted to show you something. Now, if you look down this way, you will see a tunnel. And if you look at our coordinates, you will see that I am exactly halfway done tunneling through the nether. In our attempt to reach Z equals minus 1 million in the overworld, we are 50% done with the tunnel, so I just built a little halfway point. We did also need wood, so this was not completely pointless, but uh, I just decided, you know, kind of build something to commemorate the halfway mark. And uh, it's just a little walkway to the surface. And we're immediately getting shot at. You blew up my path, you asshole. Hey. No. What did that explode on? You can just, like, zig close to the ground again. That'd be great. Please don't blow up the building I haven't shown them yet. Sir, sir, you're going to have to stop. No, I do not have a bow. Well, I have a bow. I don't know where any of my arrows are. And obviously I don't have feathers. Well, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because I have to fix this now. Stop blowing up my walkway. You piece of shit. Where did that guy go? Right there. Hey! Let's see if we can take out a ghast. Did that guy just walk in front of me so that I saw his face? He teleported away, so I don't know if that actually happened or not. I know the second I go to fix this, he's going to blow it up again. Stop shooting the house! Did I just run around on fire for five minutes? Welcome to the halfway point, ladies and gentlemen. We're on fire, and everything's bad. <laughs> I can't believe that worked! You'll recall I have thorns on all of my armor. He just killed himself by attacking me. Oh, I see what happened here. Well, now I gotta repair this at some point. That shouldn't take too long. But, uh, yeah, I built this little shack. There's nothing in it. It's just a shack. And I just kind of wandered around for a bit. Let's, uh, let's go get some more of that stuff to fix this. The warped warp blocks. Whoop. Almost went the wrong way. Also... Fair warning, this shit randomly catches on fire when it's next to lava for no apparent reason and then goes back out. So, if you're ever walking along here, just be aware the ground can catch on fire randomly in this biome. We actually have to go pretty far in order for me to get more of the warped wart because I have, like, mowed down an entire forest here. <laughs> we only need, like, a few pieces. So we shouldn't take out anything that big. I'm just going to have to put it in a chest and never use it again. And then, uh, hopefully, within a week or so of today, I'll finish the tunnel. And then, uh, we'll have to go back and get our stuff ready to go. And then, 
that'll pretty much be the last of the season. I mean, we're already at 40-some episodes. There's only so much we can film. Now, unfortunately, there are no, like, structures anywhere near us right now. Oh, yeah, we're also, like, level 80, almost. And, uh... Um... That's something I should show you guys, too. The final total for how much shit we got on the way here. I've been hanging around this area for quite a bit, just taking a break from, you know, digging constantly. It's pretty much for the last however long of the me playing this, I've just been digging almost the entire time. The only real break was the, like, the, the uh, nether fortress and, you know, coming up to get wood every once in a while. Well, I hope this is enough to fix this. It should be. Oh, that's more than enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I just built this little lava shack. If we go back down here, you'll notice this tunnel zigs and zags a lot. That's because it does go directly through lava. Like, this part, there's a cave on the other side of here. But, like, the second we dip down here, we're going through magma. Like, this whole pathway right here. Well, you can see it. Just dripping out of the ceiling. And I really like this little build. Just a nifty little thing to mark the halfway point. That's what we do have. This, and this, and this, and this, this. Look, just building this little room in the tunnel almost filled the chest up with netherrack. But what I was going to show you is this, which I do have a picture of. Stop messing around next to the camera. Fred. just happened what whatever so we have almost two stacks of gold blocks not gold ingots gold blocks we still have the four stacks of flint and more importantly we have almost five entire stacks of ancient debris that is far more than I ever expected to get and as for the magma creams, every single time I, like, go in here, there's, like, magma creams sitting right there. They just keep spawning in there and dying. Hey, is this spreading? It is. I accidentally made a mushroom farm. And this is the direction we shall continue onward in when I start digging again. So that means, in all likelihood, based on... What we've gotten so far, by the end of this tunnel, we should have nearly 10 stacks of ancient debris and enough gold to make it all into a netherite ingots. This is Midway Station. And I am actually really proud of how this turned out. I really like this. I haven't actually used... Uh, the warped warp block as a building block since like the pre-cave update world incidentally as of reaching midway point the memory size of this world officially increased to 457.7 which means that this world is officially bigger than the pre-cave update world which i mean isn't that big of a surprise I mean, sure, we built a lot more structures in the pre-cave update world, but the farthest we dug in the nether was 12,000 blocks. And, uh, yeah. This is just kind of... Like, the spot itself is not the most impressive view in the nether I've ever had, but it's important because of where it is. And, yeah, this is just kind of where I... 
got all of my resources from. Up here is a, uh, just more blackstone. Incidentally, you'll notice this hole that leads down back into the area below. This is not a, uh, this is not a natural cave. I was standing right here trying to fend off a ghast, and its fireballs blew this all the way down there. It kept missing me and hitting behind me, and then when it finally hit me, I almost died because I fell down there. And yeah, this whole structure is kind of just hanging in the air over lava ocean, so it's not the most stable thing in the world. Also, magma cubes are a problem. Midway. This isn't nearly as impossible as I thought it was going to. We might actually finish this thing. I'm going to go back inside before more of my hard work gets blown up by these. Ah. Or not. What did that hit? It didn't hit this. It's made out of wood. Although this wood is fireproof. Like, it catches on fire, it just doesn't actually burn. Hence me being able to use the wooden stairs, you know, directly on lava. For example. Actually, I'm not going to do that, because the block could very easily get absorbed, and then I wouldn't have anything to plug it with. Yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to show off Midway. I think it's pretty cool, and soon we'll be well on our way to the second half of this tunnel. To put things in perspective, I believe that I managed to tunnel like something around 10,000 blocks in one day in order to get here. Over, it, it, it is ridiculously faster to tunnel underground than it is to go through the top of the nether. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, have fun, guys.